so much talk recently about um, sexism in um, radio. Mm. It's such a male-dominated industry, mm. as most industries are. When I think, oh, we're in this male-dominated the industry, world like, everything is, is except mm. for nursing and teaching, mm -hmm. you know. Have you experienced much? Um, and even in teaching, the upper levels are male-dominated. Yeah. Absolutely. And sometimes when I dwell on that, I get really angry and then I'm like, no, just run your own course, yep. you'll get there. And Because I've had beautiful women like yourself help me along the way with mm. advice. And I think in radio, the women in there are amazing yeah. in terms of helping each other. There is a lot of sexist behaviour though. What have you, have you experienced any of that? Well, I think generally no. Right. But when I had my first child, Leo, who is four now, um, at that actual time of the birth yeah. and being in hospital, um, I was harassed by someone in upper management at, at the radio station. And I don't know if that was sexist or if he is just a psychopath. Yeah, right, right, right. Um, so I'm still not sure. Yeah. I think maybe psychopath. A bit of, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But, and then I think, no, because you know what, if a guy was in hospital with their first child having a, well, the, the equivalent, I don't know, maybe getting a vasectomy or something, yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. veins removed or whatever, something serious. Yeah. I'd had a Caesar, it was the first baby, I was freaking out. Yeah. Um, and if I'd been a man in a similar situation, I'm fairly sure that a man in management at a radio station would not have been calling every hour or so to get that man on air and um, talk about your to, experience. To talk about the experience, yeah. It's full on, isn't it? You know, I, I just don't think that would have happened. So I do think that that's probably sexist. The main thing, yeah, mm. yeah. I've been very, very fortunate though, but that's that's come with time and a knowledge of myself as well. Yeah. Um, Eventually, you get to an age, and I'm 40 this year. You know, You're I'm an old. old I'm an you old, so old bag. <laughs> an old bag. You know, I do a little wee when I laugh. You know, I'm well, old... I do when I'm 30, Chrissy. I can't really? jump on a trampoline. No, that's over. But that was over before I had a baby. It's over. Star jumps, not happening. No, what about star jumps on a trampoline? Oh, that is my worst Forget nightmare. Forget about it. Yeah. Um, so you know, I feel like, you know, I just I don't put up with stuff no. anymore and it's not about being you know i a woman hear me roar no it's just about it's knowing just your about rights. what i can and yeah. can't deal yeah. with and eventually you learn how to say what you can and can't deal with in a way that doesn't sound like a verse from a helen ready song yeah. no i agree mm. and i also think sometimes like i think of my time when i fell pregnant mm. for the first time which happened very quickly i was very lucky but i was doing breakfast radio and that didn't work with the plans of, of what was happening and I that must have been scary. It was so scary because my partner and I had moved into state. I'd fell pregnant. I was away from my family. I was in a team I didn't know very well. And I, I really loved my team and I loved working where I worked. But it just... It and that's an amazing job. Breakfast in Sydney is well, like the... the creme is, de la is creme. it? Yeah. yeah. And you so can't get bigger than that. You can't. But it wasn't a part of my goals or my dream to do either so it threw me out I was like whoa what's happening here okay I'll go with this okay, you don't say yeah, no yeah. Mm. and then falling pregnant and just what happened around then as much as I'm still sometimes feel angry about it I also know I will never let things happen like that again and I will That's never it. be treated like that again so it had to happen I absolutely agree and so, and don't you look back at yourself then and go, I feel like wow. it wasn't me. Yeah, I know. I feel like it was a child. Yeah. A, a and you feel sorry version. for that. I know. I feel I, sorry for that because yeah. I'm like, you could have said something. You could have said something. But actually you can't and you can't beat yourself up when it, when it happens first because it's bullying really is what yeah. it is. When it first happens, you're so shocked by it. Yeah. And, you know, you have no power either, you know, sometimes in that no, situation. Yeah. And I didn't have any either when I was... Um, because I was very much the third wheel in that show in, in the radio. I was the least important member. Mm. And so I felt like, who am I to say anything? Yeah. You know, so your power is taken away from you sometimes as well. And I think I found when I had children, I became very powerful. Yeah, it does and something, doesn't it? Yeah, it does something. Yeah. It did something to me, definitely. Yeah.